Hey guys, I was just listening to some awesome music that my smartphone had picked for me automatically through my favourite music app. Have you ever wondered, how does it always know what we want to hear? Whether it's Amazon telling you what to buy, McDonald's telling you what to eat, or Spotify, Netflix telling you what you should be listening to or watching, done in the right way, recommendation systems can have a massive positive impact on the bottom line of any company. Recommendation systems look at your past history, whether it is something you have purchased, eaten, listened to, or even watched, and then use these to make the best recommendation for you. There are two types of recommendation systems, content-based filtering and collaborative-based filtering. Content-based filtering is human-led. This is based on themes, groups, or recommendations that have been made by a human and then applied to user profiles like you and me. Collaborative-based filtering, which is machine-led, looks at data and patterns based on how things have been rated by users. In 2000, Tim Westergren, founder of Pandora Music, with the help of 50 individuals, started the most comprehensive analysis of music ever attempted. It was called the Music Genome Project. He and his team listened to one song at a time. Over 1.5 million songs were hand annotated. That created the ground foundational data to offer Pandora users a recommendation based on what they had listened to in the past. Using human-based recommendations and groupings with the goal of presenting the right next song to the user. So for example, if I was listening to an old hip hop song at around 95 beats per minute in a certain specific scale and key, the system would automatically offer me similar songs, allowing exploration. The ability for me to explore and find new music I may not have listened to before. However, on the 23rd of April 2006, another company launched in Stockholm, Sweden called Spotify. Spotify used the other recommendation engine approach called collaborative based filtering, which is based on machine curated recommendations. When Spotify started, people were asked when they joined up to create their own playlists and Spotify used this to let machine learning algorithms start making recommendations to new users who liked and listened to similar songs in already created playlists. In addition to asking users to make playlists, they would then give them a recommendation. This recommendation would be taken from other playlists by listeners who had a similar listening profile. The recommendations got better and better as the company amassed more and more data. The deep learning algorithm went through 10 years of iteration improving recommendations and asking for user feedback. You've all seen it when you listen to a song and you're asked to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, which reinforces the model to learn if the recommendation was accurate. There was great progress with Spotify acquiring 30 million users in these 10 years, but was still dwarfed at this time to the massive 81 million users that Pandora had acquired through their content filtering or human created recommendation approach. Machines on their own were not enough and they actually needed a human and machine combination to create the secret source for success. Spotify realized this and changed their algorithm to add a 90-10 approach. This meant 10% of randomization to be added to the 90% based on recommendations and human created playlists. Even the randomization was sophisticated enough to take into account the type of music you were listening to at the time, the time of day it was, and where in the world you are. The human machine combination created recommendations really changed the game for Spotify. Today, Spotify has 158 million users and Pandora down to below 50 million. Keeping these users is largely based on the user experience created by the human and machine partnership to create Spotify's discovery algorithm. So whether they use content-based filtering, which is human-led, 
or collaborative based filtering, which is machine led, recommendation systems look at your past history and then use this to make the best recommendation to you that influences your decision in the future. The Pandora Music Genome Project that used a content based human created recommendation engine approach had a great starting point to understand what a user would like to listen to based on the recommendation from humans who are professional musicians but it was eventually overtaken by a machine led approach whereby with more and more data created so many different outputs for profiling a recommendation that is personalized to you and me and then continued to improve that further by asking for our feedback. Spotify took a collaborative based machine led approach that became so powerful but also heavily reliant on exploitation of a user's past preferences. It should never be 100% machine led. Machine learning tends to be very greedy. Those models keep trying to feed you what you like. We need a balance between repetition or discovery. If companies do not control what we consume and exploit only our past choices to keep giving us what we like, there is a risk we will get fed up and maybe even change our brand loyalty altogether. There is also missed opportunities here as this approach stops exploration and helps us find or trying new things to buy, eat, listen to or even watch. This week's question comes from Rebecca Newman who asks, do humans make machine driven recommendations better or do machines make human driven recommendations better? We have already talked today how a machine recommendation can be even better with a human curated input. But what about machines feeding humans? We are all now creating our own recommendation engines today with everything we do. Whether it's going out for food, planning a holiday, or simply what to watch on Netflix. Everything we do and every choice we make is based on other human recommendations and reviews that are randomized and ranked by a machine to help influence our choices in life. Rebecca, thanks for sending us your question and getting involved. Remember to like, comment, share, follow and subscribe to all our channels. We asked you online during the week, human versus machines, who wins? When it comes to recommendation engines is of course a human and machine combination. Plain Talks episode two done. I'll see you next time.